Hey guys, we are back at it again tonight. We have a full night of clear skies and I'm gonna take advantage of that by using my new ASI 294 color camera. Um, I've shot with this camera before and I've been getting amazing results, uh, way better than what I was getting with my old uh, Canons that I was using. Um, so I'm gonna continue doing that tonight by shooting the Eagle Nebula. I'm not gonna be able to shoot this image until later on in the night because uh, from my view in the backyard, it's being blocked right now. I still have about an hour left until this object is in view. So I'm gonna go back inside and, uh, and wait. Stick around and hopefully you like what I'm able to capture at the end of this night. The rig for tonight is all set up. I have my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount controlling my Celestron 6SC telescope. Uh, sitting on top of that is the Orion guide scope. And the two cameras that I'm using are the ASI-120 for the guide camera, uh, as well as the ASI-294 MC one-shot color camera. And along with that, I'm gonna be using the Bader Moon and Sky Glow filter to battle the light pollution that I get here in the city, as well as giving me more contrast and nebulosity. I plan to use three minute subs uh, with a setting of unity gain, and I'm gonna be using astrophotography tool to do the capturing. I, I'm still amazed with the quality that I'm getting out of this new ASI camera. I've used this camera and the Beta Moon and Sky Glow setup to shoot the North American Nebula as well as the Elephant's Truck Nebula, uh, and I've been able to get great results with that. Anyways, the rig is set up. I'm just gonna be waiting for a bit until this object becomes in view, uh, and then I'll get started. So I think while I wait for the Eagle Nebula to get in view from my backyard, uh, I might point my telescope towards M13 to see if I can get some shots there. I shot that with uh, a DSLR before, so it'd be nice to do a comparison to see if I can get better results with the ASI 294. Let's do that now. Uh, sorry for the quality loss. Uh, right now I'm using TeamViewer to stream from my mini PC to my computer. So it's not you know, the best of quality here, but the images being captured are definitely top quality. So I need to move it over to the north a bit more. Let's try another shot. Uh, always remember to turn off PhD2 guiding or it'll try to guide back to where you had it before. Uh, you made the movement. So that looks like it's right in view. Uh, so I'm going to clear the histogram here, uh, turn back on PhD2 guiding, and then start taking some subs. So the subs I'm doing for tonight are 180 seconds, um, and I'm using Unity Gain. I'm going to be using this for the star shots as well as the Eagle Nebula, and that way I can use the same calibration frames for both images. Before I start taking more subs, I do want to put my cooling aid on. So let's start that. Uh, yeah, we'll bring it down to minus six. So this takes about 20 minutes or so to get started, depending on how hot it is outside and how cold it needs to get to. Hey guys, I'm back inside using TeamViewer to control my mount. And you can see I have uh, the Eagle Nebula and M16 in view here. Uh, but you can also see that I have some trees in the view. So I'm still waiting for it to get past the trees before I can start taking some real shots. This is what I do in between subs. So yeah, tonight's shots are going pretty well. Uh, the Eagle Nebula is in perfect view right now and I'm getting great three minute subs on it. Uh, it's about two o'clock in the morning right now so I might uh, have a nap or so till about four. Uh, after that, I'm going to start my calibration frames, and then I'll call it quits for the night. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'm going to have something awesome to show at the end of this video, and uh, I'm pretty excited just to see what I'm going to be able to do on the uh, Eagle Nebula. I took the data I captured of the Eagle Nebula and M13 and stacked them both in Deep Sky Stacker. I then moved into PixInsight to process the images. My first shots of the night were on M13. 
I spent 30 minutes on this object using 3 second exposures, and the final image looks amazing. Compare this to what I took with my Canon T3 back in May, and you can easily see the difference in quality. The ZWO ASI 294 camera has significantly less noise and higher sensitivity, which is in thanks to it being a cooled camera. Before I show you my final results of the Eagle Nebula, I'd like to talk about my experience with astrophotography so far. I began down this path in October last year, and these past 10 months of learning astrophotography have taught me so much. So much about our planets, our universe, and our place within it. It's taught me things about myself and skills I didn't even know I can obtain. It's taught me about the science of astronomy, light, photography and optics, and it's opened my eyes to the vast number of stargazing explorers, both before us and now. Most of all, it's taught me about patience. Patience and the rewards that it can bring in everyday life.